Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Make some toast? Uh, just like uh, bread and butter. Oh, okay. You seem a bit weird. You are right. Yeah, no, I, I, um, yeah, I'm fine. Like, uh... That's kind of fancy. Wait, weren't you wearing that last night? Did you say that someone else's? Uh... Oh my god, someone, did you get with someone? Uh... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, 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 I'm no, seriously, I am not going to tell you. Now. You heard too much today, Scott. And I think you realise that now, yeah? Yeah, there we go. So. Why exactly were you listening in on our conversation? I... Look, I, I just, I, I heard someone talking about uh, I'm going to take out that security guard and I, I'd, I'd never heard anything like that before. It just, it was interesting to me. That was all. I didn't mean to tell. Interesting. I think the next time you hear something interesting, I think you're just going to keep on walking. Do you mean next time, listen, you might let me go? <laughs> You're a lucky kid, Scott. I'm not gonna kill you. Oh, thank you so much, Susan. You don't know how much this means. On one condition. Oh. We need you to do something. Something that only an uh, innocent civilian like yourself can pull off. What do you want me to do? We need you to talk to James Arthur. Isn't he that guy? Who... No, not that one. You see, he stole some money from us. And it's somewhere inside his flat. Usually we'd go up there and shake him down. But he just so happens to have security cameras, alarm system, pretty much everything short of an armed guard. Which will make it pretty difficult for us to get in. Plus he'd definitely recognise us. Are you, um, are you asking me to steal it back? Exactly! This kid. 30,000 worth. We paid him for a cocaine shipment that never turned up. And we just so happen to really, really need this money. Okay, um, how do you want me to do it? Well, Young Jimbo goes to the Diplomat and Nightclub every Wednesday and we've been monitoring him and we just so happen to know that he likes to take a few guys home. Oh. So, imagine on this fine Wednesday evening you go out clubbing, you meet James and you are the most charming person in the universe. He takes you home you find the money. You take the money. And we'll be waiting for you outside in the morning. Here he is. Take a good look at him. What if I can't do it? What? He's just so far on my lead. Out of your lead! Out of your lead! Have you any idea what's at stake? There is good. Tonight, yes. you're going to be irresistible. Yes. You're going to uh, seduce him. Yes. Do I have to sleep then? Well, I mean, that's up to you. Just get into his flat and get the money. We'll be waiting outside in the morning. Make sure he only has eyes.
Hey, uh, were you just coming out of the Diplomat Club? Yeah. Uh, sweet, so was I. Um, what's your name? Uh, James, what's yours? Uh, Gerald. Um, so, so do you go there often? Like, <laughs> That's an old one. <laughs> Uh, you, you gotta break the ice somehow, you know. Like. No, 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 it's alright, I get it, I get it. I just haven't seen you here before. Um, are, are you here with anyone? No, no. Me neither. Uh, I'll just come out and say it. Like, I, I, I saw you in there and I thought you looked really, like, like really good. <laughs> I, I don't normally do this kind of thing. No, no, it's okay, I can tell. No, you know, I mean, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> um, so... I guess, are you, are, you, are you feeling this? Like... Yeah, I think I could. Cool, um, do, do you want to get away from here? Yeah, I, I would definitely want to get away from here. <laughs> uh, cool, so I guess, like, would your place be alright? Because, like, um, my flatmates, they don't know. Classic, yeah. No, my place is absolutely fine. Sweet, um, uh, great, um... I'm ready to go if you are. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Gerald, what do you do? Oh, I study um, uh, geology. Oh, how's that? It rocks. <laughs> You're funny. That's good, by the way. Most people I bring back are just pretty, but you've got funny going for you. Well, I'm not pretty as well. <laughs> okay, I'll see how it is. <laughs> um, so is it much further to your place then? Oh, it's just a little bit further ahead. Uh, I've got some coke in my flat, by the way, if you wanted some. I don't really know if I'll be into that, to be honest. What, you're not that kind of person? <laughs> no, no, I just, um, I, I just haven't really tried it before, you know? Oh, well, I feel like tonight might bring you a few new experiences, but, uh, we'll see. Yeah, so, uh, this is the place. Uh, my room's in there. You know, put your coat up, do whatever, feel free, yeah? Sure. Seem a bit shaky. Oh, I'm um, just, uh, you know, I haven't, haven't done this sort of thing before, you know. Okay. Actually, you know what I think might help is if you do a few lines. Uh, I don't know about that, really, man. Look, it's next door in the kitchen. I'll go and prep it, bring it back in, ready made. Yeah, you know, that's, that sounds alright, yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah, make yourself comfortable. Sure will. Okay, so if I do the first line, then you just... What do you... Are you alright? Uh, no, I, I just... I, I, I'm just not sure about the coke, you know? Oh, well, you should have said. Look, honestly, it makes everything so much easier if you tell me if you're not okay with anything. Look, I've, I've got to go put this back now. Just please tell me if you're not happy with anything, alright? So, are you okay now? Yeah, still a bit, but like, uh... And are you still okay with us? Uh, I'll, I'll see, I'll see, you know, I still haven't really done it okay. before, but... Well, I'm, I'm here to help. You know, just let me know if you're uncomfortable at any point. Alright? Okay. Okay. We've got to start somewhere.
Good morning. Are you going so soon? Uh, yeah, I, I just sort of, you know, I go a bit early, not have to let you hang around, you know. Um, is, is it still locked? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me get the key. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just get a bit paranoid. I've had a few you know, bad experiences. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to say last night, yeah, it was really nice. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad you picked me. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Oh, and, um, Gerald, just, you know, just in case you, uh, wanted to, I'm, you know, not sure, I just thought I'd leave you with my number. Um, thanks. Thanks very much. I, you know, I, I've just, I've got to go, but th thank you very much, it was really nice. No, I know, I understand. Uh, see you. Bye. See ya. Where is it? Um, uh, uh, it's here. You'll never speak of this again. Did you get with someone? Uh, no, I just, uh, I just slept in my clothes, really. Oh, okay, fair enough. I mean, it happens to the best of us. Oh, have I told you about this essay I've got to write for next week? It's bloody ridiculous, like, it's all about the dialects of Italy and how they're used abroad and how they're maintained, and like, I'm not being funny, but it's the deadest thing I've ever had to write. It doesn't make any sense, I don't care about it, the topic is just ridiculous like